As a priest, one of my favorite things to do is to celebrate baptisms. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and it's clear that this is also one of the favorite things of Pope Francis as well. Tomorrow we will celebrate a feast in honor of the baptism of Jesus, and the Pope has often used this occasion to celebrate baptisms. Once, when he baptized 32 babies, he said, I am glad to baptize babies. I like it very much. Every newborn child is a gift of joy and hope, and each baby that is baptized is a miracle of faith and a celebration for the family of God. Jesus did not need to be baptized, but the first theologians say that with his body, with his divinity, in baptism, he blessed all the waters so that the waters would have the power to confer baptism. And then, before ascending to heaven, Jesus told us to go into all the world to baptize. And from that day forward up until today, this has been an uninterrupted chain. They baptized their children and their children their own and those children. And also today, this chain continues. These children are a link in a chain. You parents have a baby boy or girl to baptize. But in some years, they will have a child to baptize or a grandchild. Such is the chain of faith. What does this mean? I would like to tell you only this. You are those who transmit the faith, the transmitters. You have a duty to hand on the faith to these children. It is the most beautiful inheritance you will leave to them, the faith. Today the choir sings, but the most beautiful choir is the children making noise. Some of them will cry because they are uncomfortable or because they are hungry. If they are hungry, mothers, feed them with ease because they are the most important ones here.